Welcome to Inside Design with Kandrak and Cole, hosted by two nationally published Atlanta interior designers, Joanne Kandrak and Kelly Cole. These energetic women are also world travelers, charity givers, and bloggers with a wealth of information to share and stories to tell about the interior design world. Okay, now just a warning, this is going to be fun and not too serious. After all, they still do have an interior design business running at full speed. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is episode 118 with Inside Design with Kandrak and Cole. And today we are talking about our take on High Point Market for fall 2021. So you've been listening for some time now and you know that visiting the semi-annual High Point Furniture Market is crucial commitment for us to maintaining our strength and value as interior designers. Twice a year, we commit a lot of time and energy, financial resources to visit existing manufacturers, meet new ones and explore the latest and greatest in trends and products for the home. So we know that you love to hear about all this and everything we learned in this our past trip. So we're going to discuss that today. So before we dive in into the juicy details of the latest High Point Market, we want to let you know that this episode of Inside Design is sponsored by Emily Morrow Home. Emily Morrow Home began with a lifelong love for design that grew into a profession. So after almost 30 years of practicing interior design, 13 of which was directing Shaw Industries' color, style, and design development, Emily entered a new chapter of life and launched Emily Morrow Home. Included in the the to-the-trade brand and beautifully designed collections of upscale hardwood flooring and luxury home decor. We encourage you to visit emilymorrowhome.com. When you see the hardwood floor she has to offer, you will be contacting her immediately for samples. They're truly beautiful. They they really are. Like I was looking at her website again the other day Mm. and oh, the the woods are, they're so different. It's just not your run of the mill. Mm -hmm. So for more inspiration and deeper look into Morrow's craft, visit her blog. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Living a Beautiful Life, where you'll find useful ideas and insights into home interior design. And she's a lovely lady. So we're we're so happy that she's a supporter of us. Okay, guys, so you might be a little sick of hearing about High Point Market, but we know you love hearing about trends. So let it we'll just run through um, kind of what we saw so that you can be on the lookout. Well, this tour was this was a little bit different for us because we did what's what um, is called an insider's tour. It was hosted by Esteem Media and the High Point Market Authority. And we were chosen along with four other designers from across the country to lead a team or a group mm-hmm. of brand new, I, w- I don't want to call them brand new designers, although a lot of them They're were, brand but new brand new to high point, to high point or hadn't been in the last three years. But actually our group was yeah. all new designers except for I think three of them. Mm-hmm. And none of them had been to high point. Yeah. So we, we had curated this tour and we all day Saturday. Yeah, we had 14 of them. We showed them the ropes. And their eyeballs were wide-eyed. Yes. I mean, we had a friend who said that High Point is like Disney World for designers. It's just one of those things. You, yeah. You're just in awe of the amount of product and how beautiful and the show. And so they were, it was really great. Kelly and I were really um, happy to do it. And it was so nice to see them learning and they asked us questions and the showrooms were so wonderful and accommodated us and some gave us goodie bags and but what we, what we tried to do was in between as we were going from place to place was try to give them some you know some information that we've learned along the way because there's a lot to learn oh, Kelly and I are lot. still learning but mm. when you're brand new so that was really one great part of it so a shout out to everybody that welcomed us we started at Universal Furniture then we moved on to did we go to Tebow? Sh- we got we went to Tebow first and we looked at their amazing showroom that's always Instagram worthy every single time. And then High Point Market Authority was so great and they had organized sh- a shuttle just for us and they took our group to Schwang Home, which is kind of off the beaten path. And then from Schwang we went to Gabby, Gabby. right? Mm-hmm. Gabby Home was fantastic. Then from Gabby, we went to... Oh, wow. Did we go to... We went to Curry. Yes. And then we went to Norwalk. Yes. And then we moved over to the IHFC building, right? We went to maybe um, either Coderis. Yep. Left Bank. Yep. Then we went to the High Point Theater where Coco Cozy had a collection with Etu Home, E-T-U Home, Check them out. They've got the most beautiful, beautiful charcuterie boards, uh, clochets, all beautiful kitchen stuff. Um, So we got to hear Coco Cozy, Colette, can't remember her last name, speak about how they 
um, how all that came they worked to be. together. Mm-hmm. And then we went to Flex Deal, where we ended the tour. And then we had a really fun hour of just talking biz, talking business, and helping them um, out. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going it's going on again in the spring, and so we're super excited to have been a part of that. So thank you to Esteem Media for asking us. So, and it was interesting. This was kind of mm, post pandemic high point, yet still affected by it. So, I would say we thought that October market would be like slammed to the gills because June was crazy, but because of that surge we had in mm-hmm. what was that August September July ish yeah August. Yeah. Um, it was a little bit more subdued than yeah, we thought and, it would be. And Guilford County, which is where High Point is in, has a mask mandate. So for those of us who haven't really been wearing masks all that much, you know, in regular stores and restaurants, you know, when you were walking into the buildings, they made sure that you had a mask on or they mm-hmm. were handing you masks. So that was kind of different. Mm-hmm. Um, there, The first day seemed kind of slow, but then it kind of really picked up. Yeah, it did. I will say, though, that didn't you think there was a... A very slow shift in trends. Like a lot mm-hmm. of times we go to high point, it's like, oh my gosh. I mean, they the trends scream out. It could be a color, it could be a, a style of furniture, it could be but it it's slow. I think the manufacturers are just it's all they can the, do. They're just trying to keep their head above water and get yeah. product out. So as far as new, I don't even think that they could if if so if you've got a furniture company that's bringing out some new collections they can't really get those done. You know, they can't get those done right now because they're trying to just get out the the product that they have. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that there was nothing new. Oh, no, there was plenty new, but I didn't see anything new screaming at me for trends. Mm -hmm. Well, we were just there in June, too. So Yeah, that's true. That's true. So So we're going to kind of go through what we did see because, you know, if you're not out there in our world and but you're really curious as to what you should be looking at for your home or if you're a designer and you wish you'd gone, but you didn't, we're going to kind of run through what we saw. So, And one of the things about High Point, too, is... Generally, the things that we see, the actual retail market doesn't see this for six months. Mm -hmm. So any of the new product that they had won't be available for six to eight months. So what we're what we saw there, you know, you you all haven't seen yet. Yes. So I would say the number one thing that really struck me because I didn't think it would quite be this way Mm -hmm. was neutral, neutral, neutral. I just thought that color was kind of coming would in. be more prevalent yeah there were pops of it of course and of course if you want to see color at 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 high point go to tebow it's the most amazing showroom and we we put some stuff on our instagram from port 68 i think they do a great job with lighting and stuff that's really colorful but i'm talking in furniture mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it was white linen cream mm-hmm. and with black and natural woods and browns kind of all mixed in but yep. but they all had a ton of texture yes that sherpa boucle um faux like, shearling yeah like she she you know like yeah nubby. Shearling, like nubby. nubby yeah soft mm-hmm. on on i mean if we saw one chair in it mm-hmm. we saw a hundred mm-hmm. so if you haven't seen that out there in stores yet here it comes and it's it's nice it's mm-hmm. um it's cozy and it cool makes you want and, it. Yeah, it's like there was a couple that I just kind of said, oh, I got to sit in this. Yeah. And it's, just, it's really soft around your skin. And yeah. It, yeah. But if you're going to do neutrals, texture is the only way to pull it off. Mm-hmm. And boy, mm-hmm. did we see it. A lot of uh, bone, kind of that... Um, you know, it comes in, you know, it, you see it in the creamies, but also in nice browns yeah. and tans. Yeah. And, and chagrin, mm-hmm. which, um, if you don't want, know what that is, it's it's like a... It's a leathered uh, from the from a from a. It's got little dots. I can't. I don't know how to describe from it. From a, a stingray or a, you know, it's a it's a leathered kind of dotty uh, texture from a natural. I, yeah, I'm being yeah, a complete dork yeah. and not explaining it, but anyway, yeah. it was it was. It's, it was out there. And you see it a lot on furniture with acrylic hardware. It's really pretty because mm-hmm. the acrylic kind of reflects the texture and color of the chagrin, uh, chagrin mm-hmm. texture. All right. But the biggest, the biggest. And we've seen it the last couple markets. Yeah. But now everybody has it somewhere is the rattan. Everywhere. And it and I love it so much. I love it's it. in furniture. It's in li- lighting like crazy. Especially, yeah. Um, tables, bookcases. But we know, I feel like we saw it in two different ways this time. You saw it in 
really kind of a large scale, like fatter, thicker, chunkier woven rattan. Mm -hmm. But then we also saw the pencil rattan, Mm -hmm. which is like Mm -hmm. the thin reed. And that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. When when it's a thin reed and it's wrapped. It's almost like a rope. But it's even thinner. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like wrapped around the handles of a chair or especially in lighting that thin read mm-hmm. I, I love it mm-hmm. so that was everywhere we still saw a lot of hides yes everywhere like you said rope mm-hmm. we saw rope a lot of rope in furniture yep mixed with metal yeah very cool and mm-hmm. really comfortable too mm-hmm. we still saw a lot of cast concrete tables especially Dining room tables. Cocktail sm- tables are really becoming tables. almost yeah. like a focal point too. Yeah. I mean, they're making them so interesting right mm-hmm. now. And the woods are really beautiful. Let's see. Artistica Home, which is Lexington Furniture. Mm-hmm. They had some beautiful, beautiful wood pieces with yes. some really neat designs. They really did. And and we saw a lot of that more natural and unfinished woods, but then also whites and hands and grays and just very natural and i thought because we've been reading about it coming that you know the traditional aesthetic was kind of and brown was making its way back on that darker brown and i didn't see it i mean maybe in the showrooms that we went to we but we were all over the place and i just didn't see it didn't stand out Mm -mm. it definitely didn't stand out it was like marshmallow everything was white yes and also that kind of i call it cloud furniture kind Mm of yeah plump fat modern like almost jetson, jetson but then but then with the sh- with the faux shearling cover on it so it was cozy but it was this kind of blobby <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> not yeah. refined at all very modern yeah i i very don't modern. i don't think i like that trend i just i don't know maybe maybe in a cool new york city loft with gritty yeah. hardwoods or something and mix it but i don't know yeah, i can't I, I like a little bit more artistic yeah. finish to it yeah so Indoor, outdoor. Oh, boy. People crazy. are really, yeah. People are really going crazy. The Summer Classics, which is one of our favorite vendors that does outdoor, had a huge, huge new showroom that was amazing. Uh, the outdoor stuff. You just can't, you, Cal, how long have you had your Summer Classics stuff? Oh, my Summer Classics furniture has been outside, fully exposed in my courtyard for going on seven years. That's unbelievable. I haven't even brought my cushions in. Th- that's why when you see the difference mm-hmm. in pricing, th- that's th- there it is right there. Yep. Outdoor stuff doesn't usually last that yeah. long. Yeah. And I think a lot of what we saw, you could tell was very pandemic driven or pandemic inspired. You know, the indoor outdoor living, of course, people had to expand their, their living footprint, if you will, mm-hmm. during the pandemic. And I think also right now with product lumber prices as they are contractors being so busy people can't always remodel and re- renovate as mm-hmm. quick as they want so another kind of best effort is to expand their outdoor living and so we saw so much outdoor furniture that quite frankly i would easily put yeah. indoors if i had kids or crazy or a yeah. rental house or yeah there was a you beautiful can't really tell it's outdoor summer classics had it, it was caned and it, but it's outdoor. It's, it's woven to be outdoors. Mm-hmm. I would totally use that inside. Absolutely. And like you said, the, right for um, rentals, people beat stuff up. Yep, that stuff can really last. So mm-hmm. that's pretty cool. And performance fabrics. I mm-hmm. almost wouldn't even order a sofa these days without performance fabric on it, because if it's not a dog, it's a kid, or it's a it's a messy wine drinker, drink or, <laughs> <laughs> or you know, and. We saw a lot of inside out fabric because Sombrella's yeah. having a tough time right now yep. being imported from China and um, Revolution fabric. Revolution. We we saw a lot of, of of different, but inside out had quite a presence, I would say, at at high point. And I think one last thing about in the inside out indoor uh, furniture is another pandemic. You know, we talked about this with Veronica during Mm -hmm. the pandemic of what we were seeing kind of trends of the house change. And that was towards wellness and biophilia during the pandemic. And I think we saw a lot of that, the rattan greenery, you know, outdoor bringing it in just Mm -hmm. everybody, everything was cozy. You know, it's that, it's that, it's that, need to feel safe or you know and that feel comfortable feeling when you when you go out like if you're on a screened in porch mm-hmm. there you, it feels completely different the outdoor like you have the outdoors and you see all the green it does something to you it, it really it, does it, it it's like looking at water 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So a lot of, um, we buy a lot of things from a company called New Growth Designs, which is um, faux greenery and whatever. So if you are in a place that doesn't have the light or whatever, but a lot more bringing plants greenery in, you know, the, the boxwood walls, we're seeing that in a lot of commercial spaces, just a way of getting that outdoors in. Absolutely. Work from home, obviously. Mm. Everywhere. Desks, desks. So creative. And desks. Yeah. And I thought, didn't you think, I thought most of them were very small scale. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the desire to add a workspace to an existing space that you, well, you don't have it, a lot yeah. of room. You got to tuck it away. Tuck it away somewhere. But then it also has to look pretty because maybe it turns mm-hmm. into a, it's a bedside table or it's an extended dining table or. Yeah, we, we saw one somewhere that was almost like. Was it like a drop leaf? But it, it was a table, but then it could turn into a desk. Right. Which those are the kinds of things people are looking for. Yes. So we yeah. saw a lot of that. A lot of integrated power into the desks, mm-hmm. sit stand desks. So again, that wellness component for for all day being at home in front of a Zoom call. Mm-hmm. You know, but I just thought the desks were really pretty and and very creative how they were how they were made. Yeah. Um, so if we haven't to, seen that volume of desks. Yeah. If you have to put it in, like my office, when you walk into my front door, my office is immediately to the right where it would have been a living room, mm-hmm. a little bit smaller. And my desk is right there. So if you have to do that, you want it to look good. You don't want it to be this big, clunky, executive looking desk. It's mm-hmm. got to be kind of pretty. Yeah. And then, of course, the kind of ethnic global influences mm. were everywhere. Yes. And I love that. I kind of yeah. hope that trend never goes away. I just I just really love it. We saw this one young guy in Inner Hall. He is from Atlanta and he started this business I think with his dad. Yep. And he had these amazing mud cloths that were framed and they were of birds and plants and, and the texture really uh, gritty. Texture. Oh, I beautiful. love them beautiful. so much. Yep. But the African baskets that are just that's where you know a lot of the color can come in and then the um the juju hats you know that's those fluffy yes, kind of round I think they're things. so cool they're really neat. you see them a lot of times in design magazines a lot of designers use those. yes yes they're not and they're then, not cheap no they're not mm-hmm. no and then just fra- framed textiles yes. oh my gosh so many different ones that were so great and even this isn't well, I guess you could call it kind of a global influence, but our our friend Jill Seal, who, who we've had on the podcast, and she does the amazing marbling. She has her s- marbled s- silk scarves are were framed in lucite at Port sixty eight lamps, and they looked so amazing. So you know, she learned her craft in Italy, and that was it's just a just a new way for art. You know, yeah. you get yeah. you get bored of like. Right. We found a new photographer, too, who does amazing, you know, um, different, black and di- white. different subjects, all black, black and, and white. Mm-hmm. And his, um, he was in corporate world for 30 years, retired. He's always loved photography, so he decided he was going to do this. So he started three years ago, and then he would sell the, the photography with museum glass um, and some beautiful frames. Well, when the pandemic hit and it issues with shipping and freight and whatever, he just decided, let me go ahead and just sell the prints. And he said that his business has exploded. Yeah. So people can just take those prints to their local framer and have them done. Well, he's going to be on our podcast, I think, later next year. His name is Lanny. He's super cool. So, yeah, we've got some pretty good guests coming up. And actually, I don't want to jinx it, but we have somebody famous that has reached out to us that um, wants to be on the show. So we're just waiting to hear back from the PR person and get it set up. So we won't give it away just yet. But before we keep going, um, I have it's not really an announcement. It's just something that I wanted to say. So, Russ, are, are you there, Russ? Our producer. Oh gosh, what are we Hello. doing now? I'm just. I, I, I need some kind of like. I need a sound effect, like a dun dun dun, dun or like something. Oh like God! That. Yeah. What do you? Don't get scared. Okay. Tell me, look, this is way, you, way listen. Off the top, you, you, so. you got me. This has not been planned. With with yeah, I, I have no prep here. Hold on. Let me start bringing up some sound effects. <laughs> that's not. No. <laughs> that's a no. Hold on. What is this? <laughs> oh, that's. That's unwrapping beef jerky. I don't think you want that. <laughs> oh, can can you give me a hint as to what 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 we're leading into? D- does this work? Something Wait, exciting. Something exciting. All right, here we go. Fireworks. Something kind of melodramatic. Go ahead. Well, this isn't melodramatic, but go ahead. But 
Oh, that makes it sound like it's way too big. No, what I'm well. So today we don't have a guest. So we're kind of a little off the cuff. So we're telling you about High Point, and so we have a little bit of extra time. So I just wanted to say something out to the universe. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you, um, you, we're and- <laughs> twenty. We're twenty minutes into the show, and we're and we're realizing now we don't have a guest. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. We're the guests. Now, I just want, this is a shout out to my business partner, Kelly. Oh! And I just want to say, you know, we've been, we've been doing this for 16 years. We just spent, you know, five days together in High Point, And we're with each other a lot. And we've had a lot going on. We've had some really challenging things come up with some new business. And I just, I'm so thankful for her. We, we just oh. seem to just keep on keeping on. And we got a really huge project yesterday, and Kelly did a lot of hard work on it with just a little bit of input for me. So I just want to say that we, we're just very lucky, and we really appreciate everybody that listens to us. But it's all everything you hear in is genuine, and we just um, we're just we're, I feel really lucky that we have each other, and we have this podcast, and just a great a great business life. Oh, I'm totally That's awesome. Stop. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. I know. Well, she knows that I kind of had like a mental breakdown on um, Sunday because I was just feeling really overwhelmed. We had this. It was a really big proposal we had to do. And we had when we skip a weekend, like, you know, we worked through High Point and we need our rest. And and I I'm especially really wimpy when it comes to needing rest. And so I was kind of having one of those teary anxiety filled days. And <laughs> so she knows that. Uh, yeah, that's very. Thank but, you. But, you know, it's hard because um, when there's two people and there's a lot going on, you know, n- neither one of us slack. I mean, mm-hmm. we both I don't know if it's just that we rely on each other on certain things it, it just automatically happens yeah and so like i said we've had a lot going on where it's very overwhelming but if we didn't have each other and if it, it's all good stuff mm-hmm. and it's just that we care so much about our business and care so much about doing the right thing for our clients that it just helps when you get along and you know because it's fun you know it's fun we have a lot of fun but there's some stress involved but we get through it mm-hmm. we definitely get through we it do. so thank you you're welcome <laughs> All right, so let's move on to our quotes. And I was going to, I wanted to say this too. I want to give a shout out for all of you podcast listeners. If you have not listened to Hoda Copy's podcast called Making Space, I really encourage you to do it. You know, she's one of the co-anchors for the Today Show. And I, I, I turn a lot to to podcast recently in the last couple of years since we've been doing our podcast when I'm having those anxiety stress filled filled days and I just need somebody to like talk me off the cliff and I recently listened to her speaking with Anne Lamont and also today I was listening to her talk to Mitch Album who wrote Tuesdays with Maury mm-hmm. and the five people you'll meet in heaven mm-hmm. and she's she's kind of like Oprah in these like deep soulful talks they're only 30 minutes, but they're very grounding. And sometimes you just need a few words of, of incredible wisdom to just calm you down. And so from one podcaster to another, I, I really encourage you guys to listen to Making Space with Hoda Copy. You will not regret it. It's totally different from ours, but just really inspirational. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Our Um, funny quote's not that funny, but it kind of was, so I had to include it. Okay. So this one is, the work of local artists is not sitting on a cargo ship. And that's from artist Mary Elizabeth Peterson. Yeah, it makes you kind of look at, you know, things that you don't have to necessarily wait on from a a vendor where local, you know, artists, you don't usually wait for that. So, Well, you know, we were talking about this long ago. We were sending out newsletters to all of our clients, telling them about the supply chain issues long before it was in the news. Now I feel like when I turn on the Today Show in the morning, it's all about the the cargo ships that are sitting off on the Pacific and now the the whole world knows about it. We've yeah. known about it for yeah. a long time. Yeah. So so yeah, right. you so turn to American some, made, right? Yeah, and there's some shifting. We're doing some more a lot mm-hmm. more reupholstery than maybe we used to do. Mm-hmm. And more local stuff. And we're all, well, I mean, we've always loved our local artisans, but yeah, it's from, from the viewpoint of an artist, it's true. You know, the work of local artists is not sitting on a cargo ship. Mm -hmm. So (laughs) go, go get it. It's out there. 
Okay. And then I recently went to a retreat on Saturday with with my good friend, Deborah Gerard, who runs Be Well, Serve Well. And this was from her Pause to Empower retreat. Within you, there is a stillness and a sanctuary to which you can retreat at any time. Herman Hess. Easy for you to say. Yeah, exactly. Well, you have to work on it. You have to work on it. And I I think that we're all on a hamster wheel. It's mm-hmm. the American way. And it's it's truly, it's the wrong way. And so we all need that reminder that there is a stillness and it's a, and a sanctuary. And it's, it's right here within us. And mm-hmm. we can go there anytime. But you have to pause mm-hmm. to, to take the time to go there. And we all need that really badly. So... Yeah. Yeah. Just a little reminder to everybody. Yeah. Okay. So, so speaking of balance and pausing, Joanne and I on Tuesday, so it'll be we're leaving before you hear this. We are off to San Miguel de Allende in Mexico for a inspirational get out of our heads, get out of the office, see some culture trip. Yes. And we're so so well thrilled. So well needed for us. Well, part of my anxiety meltdown on Sunday was oh. because I sent my passport in for renewal on July 13th, and I still don't have it yet. And our congressman, Congressman uh, Loudermilk's office has been helping me expedite it because I'm like seriously down to panic and it's supposed to arrive tomorrow. So that was mm. a great relief. So mm-hmm. if you guys, if you're out there and you think you're going to be traveling internationally anytime soon, take a look at your passport because you probably haven't looked at it in two years since mm-hmm. since the pandemic. Yeah. And it will take you a solid six months to get that sucker renewed. Yeah. And a lot of places you your passport can't be um, need to be renewed within six months. Yes. So really, a passport's not really good for ten years. It's pretty much good nine for and nine, nine, nine and a half years. Yeah, so. exactly. Tip so don't day. don't Tip. be me. Get yeah. get your passport renewed. Yeah. PSA for the day. Thank you so much for Emily Morrow for sponsoring us. We love Emily Morrow Home, and we hope that you will take a minute so that other people can start loving our podcast and rate and review us. It really helps people find us. So. Okay, thanks for listening, everybody. Great. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Join Joanne and Kelly weekly for a lively conversation about trends, travels to industry events, current design projects, the good, the bad, and the ugly, do's and don'ts, product recommendations, and more. Be sure to follow the fun on Facebook. They're on Instagram, at Kandrak Cole. And of course, you've got to visit them online at kandrak-cole.com for more information.